Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. For anyone who drinks absinthe, they will know that in France it is known as Le Fay Vert. It literally means the Green Fairy. Well, Scotland, of course, has got its very own Fay Vert, but this one is no Fay Vert of mine. Huh? See what I did there? This particular Tinkerbell is a hypocritical old bugger. She sits there and tells people that we should give up cars and go on public transport for the environment. You understand, it's better. So what does she do when faced with public transport? In this case, a ferry where she would cross the water with lots of other people. Well, she decides that she's too good for that. And rather than paying the £4.70 fare to get across the water, she hires a private charter probably very expensive, probably at the public expense, and certainly not as good for the environment per person as the ferry. And of course, our little Tinkerbell? It's Lorna Slater. Let's look at this article. Right, before we get into this and go in depth, I want to show you something because um, I'm, I'm good. I do my research for these things. I don't just slap them together, you know. So I'm just gonna show you this. I wanna bring this up to the, to the camera to show that I've literally just made this call. Uh, let's see if I can get this right. And that's their telephone number. Can you see that? Western Isle Cruises, there you go. 1437, I phoned them this afternoon. They are the ferry company that Lorna Slater used to charter this boat. Now, this boat, um, you know, this was a private hire charter boat um, and it isn't cheap. How much would you think to charter that boat to go from Malague to the Isle of Rum would cost? Well, it isn't £4.70, that's for sure. Um, I was quoted, depending on the number of people, I said, depending on the number of people um, and when you wanted to go, and how long you know you'd be over there, and if you wanted to come back and that, but they said prices started from five hundred pounds. So whatever it costs, it's cost the Scottish taxpayer five hundred pounds for a four pound seventy uh, ticket to go across on the ferry. That's a hundred over a hundred times more expensive. Now, if that's come out of the Scottish public money which it has, as we will see when we go through this piece, then it must be uh, an absolute, um, it's, got to be, it's got to be a misuse of power and a misuse of public funds. If she doesn't pay that back personally, then she needs to account to why she won't be paying this money back personally. But anyway, we'll go into the piece. Hypocrite Lorna Slater snubs the Calmac Ferry to charter a private boat for an island visit. Uh, rather than crowd onto a stand-in ferry with members of the public, the Scottish Green Minister is travelling like royalty on a private charter vessel. And there she is looking all smug, you know, all smug, because her shit don't stink. She tells all of us, we are to give up our cars, we are not to have private transport, we are to take public transport. And when offered a chance to take public transport, she decided, no, I don't want to stand with the hoi polloi, I don't want to stand with the common folk. I'm better than them. I will hire a very expensive boat that will be paid for by the public. I could buy a £4.70 ticket, but that would not, that would be beneath me. That would be embarrassing and humiliating for someone as important as I to travel with normal people. That must have been the thoughts going through her head. Anyway, look, uh, Green Minister Lorna Slater, the hypocrite, has been accused of breathtaking lack of self-awareness after snubbing the ferry to charter a private catamaran for an island visit. The spectacularly, <laughs> the spectacular hypocrite is to travel to the Isle of Rum today, but will not be paying the £4.70 for the 85 minute crossing along with the other passengers. Uh, Rum is part of Calmac's small isle route, but the chronic shortage of vessels on the network means a reduced timetable is running as the usual ferry has doing, been deployed elsewhere. And then another one will break and then they'll get uh, something else and then another one will break. They haven't replaced that. And eventually the entire service for all the Isles uh, of Scotland will be amounting to two canoes and one of those pedalo swans that they've stolen from a, a, a park somewhere. Uh, that is gonna be the entirety of it if they don't do something. 
Uh, but of course, that isn't good enough for dear sweet Lorna. No, no, she deserves better for all that hard work coming up with those great ideas, like a bottle deposit scheme that won't work or the gender bill that everybody rejects. And so obviously she needs those little uplifting things like the public paying at least £500 for a cruise for her. Anyway, as a result, Miss Slater, who won't travel on these boats, uh, will travel on a catamaran chartered from the Western Isles Cruises. The Scottish Government refused to tell the Daily Mail how much it is paying for the private charter. Uh, but I'm telling you, it's a minimum of £500. I rang them. Uh, Donald Cameron, Conservative MSP for the Highlands and Islands, told the paper, Lorna Slater's hypocrisy and lack of self-awareness is breathtaking. Her misuse of public funds is also breathtaking and we need to make sure that she repays that money out of her back pocket. Uh, the Greens are forever lecturing the public on the need to use public transport, yet she is happy for the Scottish Government. No, 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 let's get this one out of the way. She's happy for the Scottish Government to charter a private boat to take her to and from rum. She's happy for the people of Scotland to pay for this charter. She's not happy about paying it for herself, of course, otherwise she'd pay the £4.70 and get on the shitty boat with everyone else. Um, her excuse for doing that is essentially that CalMac timetable doesn't suit and that it will go down like a lead balloon with island communities. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm too important to wait for a ferry. I have to get across there. I'll charter this at public expense. Meanwhile, you who live on that island or you lot over the mainland who need to get to that island, well, you tough shit to you, you'll have to deal until when the ferry runs. But I'm too important. I'm more important than you. And there you go. I think she's just lost every green vote on the island. And that's a shame, isn't it? Anyway, instead, these people on the boat, uh, on the islands, are dependent on ageing and unreliable CalMac fleets that they have been lumbered with because of the scandalous incompetence of the government that Lorna Slater is at the centre of. Her tone-deaf indifference to them is another kick in the teeth to betrayed islanders. I think the islanders now um, are no longer SNP supporters. They are starving to death on there because they can't get bloody supplies across. Uh, Lib Dem MSP Willie Rennie added, Lorna Slater has been in office for less than two years, but she's already acting like she's born to rule. A petty fogging little dictator who is much better than the rest of us. Uh, Miss Slater is due to arrive on Rama around 10am on Friday and will depart at approximately 2.30, which at the time of making is about now. It's just gone. Uh, had she used the CalMac ferry, she would either have to have cut short her visit or stay overnight. And one SNP politician told the Mail, those Greens are demonstrating another spectacular display of hypocrisy. Yeah, it's good. One rule for us, but a different rule for them. One rule for the masses who aren't important, but us in the Greens, we're the elite. We can do what we like. That's what she's saying. Um, anyway, they're forever lecturing the rest of us on using public transport and Lo Lorna Slater goes and uses a private charter. I know they don't like the royals, but they seem to act like the royals themselves. They clearly think CalMac ferries, which they actually run, are for the plebs, uh, like the expendable fishermen whose livelihoods they want to destroy. Uh, a warning on the CalMac website states, due to uh, MV motor vessel Lock Brewster, I'm, I'm guessing BH being a V, uh, so providing additional support in the Outer Isles, Spanish John will be operating for vehicles and freight uh, and MV Larvan will operate on the passenger only service to the small isles on Saturdays. Passenger numbers will be limited and pre-booking is essential. And uh, oh, there's the, uh, the Grand Hall at Kinlock Castle and I've been there. It's absolutely lovely. Um, it's a bugger to get to. It really is. Anyway, uh, Miss Slater is due to meet Islanders to discuss key issues including the future of Kinlock Castle. After its sale to the city financier and Tony Do uh, Tory donor, Jeremy Hosking fell through. He pulled out of a deal to buy the crumbling former pleasure palace from the nature Scott Quango in March, blasting the anarchy of Miss Slater's biodiversity department. Uh, everything run by Slater is, you know, anarchy. It is falling apart. The woman is a moron. We know that. She couldn't she couldn't find the pointy end of a biro if she was jabbing it in her ass. Honestly, she is as thick as two short planks and then fails to see what she is doing by hiring a private charter boat. What on earth is going on between those ears? Not much, as far as I can tell. She really is a liability to 
the human race. Anyway, I shall round off and come up. Now, what on earth made Lorda Slater think that she would ever get away with this? She must have known that uh, people would talk and it would come out. And why did the government want to hide the cost? It's so hard to find out. Hello? How much? Oh, thank you. Puts phone down. I mean, they're morons, aren't they? But she must be held to account. She must be scrutinised. Why did she do it? Why did she think she's better than everyone else and not take the ferry? And why did she get the government to cover up the cost? Is she ashamed of it? And now that the cost has come out, will she repay it out of her own pocket? It was her choice to do that. She could have used the public transport that she beseeches everyone else to use. She should use the public transport that she's making the people living on that island use. But she isn't because it's all do as I say, not as I do, because I'm better than you. Well, you're not, Lorna. You're really not. Anyway, if you are, by the way, if you are thinking of having a little cruise up in Scotland, do use Western Isle Cruises. They're very nice people. I spoke, I wrote them up. I spoke to a very nice lady, utterly helpful. She sent me some literature by email. Fantastic. So, you know, they're very nice people. This isn't an advert. They haven't paid me or anything like that. Just simply, they helped me. I will help them by saying that they are very nice people. Please use them. Uh, anyway, there we go. So I shall finish there. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like, share the video. Definitely leave a like though. That's the big one. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. If you want a boat, chart your own. Don't get the government to pay for it. And goodbye.